What's up? It's Kyle from KyleNewell.com now and Newell Strength, located in Hillsborough, New Jersey. Standing in front of my office. I want to talk about another aspect of patella tendon ruptures. Actually, my brother might have just partially ruptured his, which would make four patella tendon ruptures in my family. So I guess it could be a genetic thing. Anyhow, I've done both. Uh, severely snapped in half vertically horizontally in case you don't know my story along with five other ligaments in each leg did them about two and a half years apart so I am the world's leading expert on patella tendon ruptures I've written a book about it which you can see with the link here help pro athletes numerous athletes nu numerous average Joes get back to action much quicker than they otherwise would have been able to a couple of the questions I received this week are when is it okay to get off my crutches? Two week mark. You might be nervous. Most people only go through this once. So with the nerves, I would say three weeks tops to get off the crutches. You're gonna start activating your leg and getting more blood flow to it. Keep the brace on for two to three weeks, then get rid of it. At that point, you're gonna put on a blue reband knee sleeve. I'll post a link for that below this as well. That'll keep the joint warm, it'll get blood flow there, and it gives you enough support. That's all you need. Lastly, another question I've been receiving lately is what can I do to strengthen my quads? Don't worry about your quads right now. Your hips control your knees. Your recovery is gonna be located in your posterior chain, your glutes, hamstrings, and your lower back. Do your hip extension patterns, your RDLs, your deadlift type of stuff, your sled drives, single-legged deadlifts. When or if you have the urge and you have to start working on your quads, the terminal knee extensions, which you can find in the book. Okay, that's where there's a band behind your uh, upper calf attached to a rack, coming up on your toe, and then bringing the heel down like you're gonna crush the bug, activating the vastus medialis muscle. Or you could do backwards sled drives. I call them VMO sled drives because they activate the vastus medialis. So you grab the stud here and you back pedal. So that's it for quadra. Don't worry about squatting because you're going to have a lateral shift. When you're ready to start squatting, you would start going to single-legged squats. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'm happy to help. Uh, that is one of my missions is to help people recover from this injury. Peace.